நவம்பர் நைன்டீன் எயிட்டி நைன் இங்கிலீஷ் இன் த டிக்டேஷன் ரெடி ஸ்டார்ட் சார் ஐ தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் த ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி கிவன் டு மீ டு ஸ்பீக் ஆன் திஸ் டிமாண்டு ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஐ ஆம் கிளாடு டு பே மை ட்ரிபூட் ஃபார் த ஹை ஸ்டாண்டர்டு இன் விச் த போலீஸ் ஃபோர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் ஸ்டேட் ஹாஸ் பீன் மெயின்டைன்டு ஐ வுட் லைக் டு சே தட் அவர் போலீஸ் ஃபோர்ஸ் ஆர் த பெஸ்ட் இன் இந்தியா வென் ஐ சே திஸ் இட் சுட் நாட் பி அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் தட் ஐ ஆம் நாட் கோயிங் டு பாயிண்ட் அவுட் த டிஃபெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த போர்ஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் தட் இட் மஸ்ட் பி ஆர்கனைஸ்டு இன் சச் எ மேனர் that it should become the best not only in this country but in the whole world whatever may be the view of the minister in charge it should good that the moral of the police force has not been affected by the policy of the government now it is necessary for us to understand the duties of the police it should be realized that the police are not there to terrorize people on the other hand it is their duty to serve the people i would like to point out to the government that it is the primary duty of the police to maintain law and order if we want the police force to be made useful they require training and education when we select even the police constables we should take care to see that those who are educated are selected if such people are to be selected it is necessary that they should be paid well but i am sorry to say that they are not only not paid enough but their hours of work are longer than they ought to be i hope it will be possible to get rid of these defects it is necessary to increase the police force i am sure that the requirement from the educated people would improve the state of affairs we know that the police have to deal with many things so it may not be possible to keep a larger force managed by a better class of officers in the circumstances i think there should also be a mobile force another thing that we should bear in mind in this connection is that the government should have a special force called the cycle force in order to deal with offenders effectively so far as the administration is concerned it is not necessary for me to say that these men should get more salary for this purpose funds will be required and we shall have to impose new taxes so i would not like to say anything in the matter i would leave it to the government to decide according to their financial position but the difficulty is that most people do not have any permanent house even in the report it is said that the police people are transferred from time to time so it is difficult for them to get accommodation it will be good on the part of the government to make arrangements for the provision 
of houses to them letter dated 3rd march 1980 from ravi and company saidapet madras to mrs jameson company mailapur madras dear sirs we thank you for your letter of first instant we have great pleasure to inform you that we are willing to take up the work proposed by you we agree with you that it is necessary for you to be convinced about our ability to carry out the work satisfactorily for this purpose it is desirable for us to give you an idea of the work that we do and that we have done so far one of the important items of work that we do is construction of buildings in addition to that we can make arrangements also to prepare plans for approval in this connection we shall be pleased if you are good enough to arrange to see the plan designs in our office we are sure that you will be able to assess our efficiency on seeing them you may suggest your own design and we will be glad to prepare a plan as may be desired by you we shall be glad to hear from you in the matter at an early date yours faithfully